time is 303.50.304.304. So, the talents for Resto Druid. I take Star Lord. Uh, I've seen people take Warrior of a Loon. Don't take Force of Nature. Force of Nature is horrible. So, Star Lord or Warrior of a Loon. I like Star Lord just because it reduces the cast time of my Wrath and Lunar Strike whenever they're empowered, so that's the reason I take that. I take Wild Charge because I feel like it's more versatile than just Displacer Beast. Um, with Wild Charge, you can leap backward, you can charge forward with Cat Form, you can also jump to an ally, you can also root an ally, you can also leap forward in Travel Form, so that's why I take that. Um, for the 45 talent, you can either take Guardian Affinity or Restoration Affinity. I like Restoration Affinity just because it heals you. It, it does give you Healing Touch and Swift Mend. Um, 60 talent, I always take Mighty Bash. Mighty Bash is just a stun, so that's why I take it. Uh, I take Incarnation because it increases my damage by 35% and increases the generation of my uh, Astral Power by 50%, so that's very good. If you don't take Incarnation, you want to take Soul of the Forest, which just gives you a flat 20% damage increase to your um, Solar Wrath and Lunar Strike whenever they're empowered. For level 90 town, you either wanted to... You can take any of these, actually. I take Shooting Stars just because it doesn't take a whole lot of thought. And you just If you Sunfire in a big group, you're pretty much going to be generating a ton of uh, Astral Power. You can in use Astral Communion just for the instant Astral Power, but I just like using Shooting Stars. And then Blessing of the Ancients, you can use that as well. For the 100 town, I always take Nature's Balance because it just increases the duration of your damage over time. You also can use Stellar Drift because it does this let you cast while moving in your Starfall. For the Honor Talents, I take Ladder's Medallion, uh, Mind Quickness for the Haste, um, Iron Feather Armor for the Increased Armor, and holy shit, your health. I didn't even use Burst there, man. Just fell over. Iron Feather Armor because it gives you increases your armor and reduces the chance you're critically hit by melee attacks, so that's very strong against melee. For this row, I always take Eclipse because it reduces the cooldown of your one cooldown that increases your damage by 35%, so you're going to have a one minute cooldown on your Incarnation whenever you do use Incarnation mixed with Eclipse, very strong. That's the main reason I always take these two talents together. I don't take Celestial Downpour, don't take Crescent Burn, always take Eclipse and Incarnation. Um, Moon Kinor, you're always going to take this 15% increased chance. 15% in increased critical strike chance whenever you use your star surge to all allies within 40 yards and yourself. So very strong there. For this row, you can take any of these. Cyclone for arena, deep roots for fucking over healers. Uh, pretty much roots them in place, and if you root them in place, and then use your solar flare or your solar beam on top of them. I'll show you here. Um, here, I'll show you. So I'm going to use my one shot here. And again, root him in place, use my one shot, and my full moon's gonna hit this guy like a truck, by the way. And again, hopefully he does just kind of fall over here. He might, he might not, we'll see. There we go. There we go, bud. Okay, now we go on the warrior here. Uh, we'll go on the this guy's here as well. So pretty much, you never want to hard cast Lunar Strike. Uh, hard casting Lunar Strike, it's definitely a trap. Uh, wouldn't suggest it. Most of the time when you do get attacked by melee, you will just get your Lunar Strike um, instant instant thing. I don't know what this is called. Alkin Frenzy. Pretty much it happens whenever you do get auto-attacked in your Boomkin form. So that's something to keep note of. Another thing to take note of is Fairy Swarm disarms people on a 30 second cooldown. So if you're going against the melees or in an RBG with a ton of melees, uh, Fairy Swarm can be very, very strong. But again, the... Rotations pretty much apply your dots, which is sun, Sunfire and Moonfire. The main reason you apply those first is for the 6% damage increase. Um, you'll see there I did hard cast. That is my bad. I'm going to use Barkskin here for the damage reduction on this monk. I'm going to go on the Druid here because no one seems to be focusing him. And again, just use Solar Wrath and Star Surge on cooldown. And you don't want your Full Moon to ever like have three stacks like I did there. Uh, it's kind of just wasting it. So That's kind of... The general gist of Balance Druid. Again, apply dots. We'll go on the Death Knight here, just because Death Knights are fun to hit. Uh, just kidding, we'll go on the Rogue. So, apply dots. Use Solar Wrath. Use your Moon procs. You don't ever want to use your Lunar Strikes unless you really have nothing else to press. I use Lunar Strikes if I literally have no Solar Wraths to be used. No Moon procs slash artifact traits to be used, which is your Moon spell. And that's the only time you're going to want to use Lunar Strike hardcasting. 
and my burst is almost up. You'll see it is up, and I just used it, and that's because the reduced cooldown from Incarnation and Eclipse. So again, I'm going to use burst here, and again, same rotation. When you use burst, you just want to apply your dots. Uh, you'll see here my full moon will probably hit for like a million. I'm going to see how hard this full moon hits for this guy. Yeah, it did for a million on crits. So again, I'm going to root and then apply that because it will silence her. And it somehow did break. Uh, she's probably still going to die. Yeah. So again, put up dots. Put up dots. Put up Solar Wrath. Use Lunar Strike on him because he did proc that. I do get interrupted in my Natrus spell. I'm going to drink it all that going to apply my dots to this guy as well. He is a Blood Death Knight. Um, I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm just gonna... Just just do this, man. Not really doing much here. Just letting you know. Okay. So, I'm... I, I hate... I don't hate it, but I'm, I'm fucking horrible at explaining my rotation, but... Pretty much, you just use Star Surge whenever you want. Um, unless you really want to keep track of your Moonkin Hora, then you can just use it to refresh that as well but again apply dots use solar wrath once you have no empowered solar wrath you want to use your moon or artifact trait which is your full moon slash half moon slash no moon which does no damage uh, you'll see here if I use this one other stack of new moon then I'd actually be forced to use lunar strike if I didn't have any astral power to use star surge on um, I'll kind of try to explain the rotation once I do get into the alliance base a little bit more Someone whispered me, I believe. Oh shit, yeah, I need to uh, disable that because I'll get banned. Feels bad. Feels bad, man. Got banned for that earlier. There we go. And we have a warlock carrying our flag. It's a genius, genius plan. We'll just go over here. What's going on? V jokes, what's up, man? Good to see ya. So again, apply dots. Uh, he is going to mass a spell on my dots, so I'm just going to reapply them immediately. Um, I am very low on Astral Power, so I'm going to use my Full Moons here. And again, Half Moon. He did Dispel my Dots again. Uh, we'll go on this Death Knight. No, it doesn't really matter what Death Knight we go on. So we're going to Full Moon here. Get our Star Surge off. We'll use our Solar Wraths here. And now since we have nothing else to press other than Lunar Strike, we will be forced to use Lunar Strike. Since we do have an Empowered Wrath, we will use that. And that's kind of the general rotation of... Uh, balance druid guys so how do, how do you guys like balance druid so far um apparently they're getting buffed in uh bfa so i'm i'm hyped for that we'll kind of explain the rotation here as well so rotation interview hate to just repeat this over and over again but apply your dots sunfire moonfire applies a six percent damage increase to the target so always apply those first once you get your dots on them just use your astral power if you have any on star surge once you have your Empowered Wrath, use Empowered Wrath if you don't have any Full Moon procs. Here, I'll use my cooldown on this guy. So, I'm going to use my Full Moon slash Moon procs just because this guy's just going to fall over. Watch. Watch his health. I, I love 3.6 millions. I love 3.6 millions, man. Click that flag. And again, I'm not going to use any of my Lunar Strikes here because he is just going to proc them himself. He is going to try to kill me. Don't think he's actually going to manage. Uh, you might. You might. You might manage to kill me. I'm kidding. Who do you think you are? You fool. I love druids. Same here. That 3.6 million <laughs> crit, though. It's true. Didn't expect it, really. But that's what happens when you have berserking and uh, incarnation going. It it just you you crit for a million all the time. So I was shocked by it, but I wasn't at the same time. So we'll go on this guy. Okay, he's dead. What are you doing? Oh, he's running Death Witch. Okay. Uh, we'll camp the graveyard. Seems like Gore's over there, too. Yeah, he's just standing in the graveyard. God damn you, animal. Alright, we'll go on the Blood Death Knight. So, apply dots. Use our artifact trait, which is our moon thing, to get some astral power. And use that again. Probably gonna get a Star Surge off of that. Use our Empowered Rass. Just kidding, they're gonna die too fast. And we will go on this guy. Actually, we'll go on the tank, actually. Because tanks are pretty much target dummies, so... I'm going to use my Solar Wrath on this guy. And use that Star Surge. And again, use our Artifact trait here. Death Knight does want me, so I'm going to disengage. He'll probably Death Grip me back in if he's smart. Use our Empowered Solar Wraths. Just kidding. 
You'll see that huge group there. I'm gonna use my Starfire first so I do get my Shooting Star procs on all of them. And again, I'm gonna actually Lunar Strike here since they're all kind of packed up and Lunar Strike does do cleave AoE damage. Um, just gonna use Star Surge, gonna use... Uh, he is out of range. We'll use it on that guy. So we're use our full moon on the healer. I should apply my uh, Moonfire before, but that's fine. Uh, I'm gonna use cooldowns here actually, so... Going to use my burst, use Solar Wrath. Just gonna get a ton of damage off here. He should be dead. No, they're kind of going on me. I'm gonna go on the healer here. And again, just use New Moon. Going to use this and use this. Am I the real para? Answer me. <laughs> no. No. Wrong guy. Sorry. Okay, we'll go on the blood here. And again, apply dots. Use Star Surge, use Star Surge. And then use your Powered Wraths. Empowered Wraths, please just stop running around me. Target needs to be in front of me, but is in front of me. Don't understand, boys. I really don't. Okay, whatever. I'll go on the Blood Death Knight again. So again, apply dots. Use your Lunar Strike if you do have that Alk and Frenzy proc. Um, we'll go on this guy here. Okay. So, apply dots. Use Star Surge if we can. Um, again, use all of your Solar Wrath procs, and then use your actual artifact ability. And now we uh, we'll use Lunar Strike just because. And now we throw a Full Moon out. And uh, yeah, this is the rotation. You'll see here. This is the main reason I like Druvy GCD because you guys can actually see what I'm doing. And again, using Solar Wrath. And I'm gonna use Lunar Strike now since I have nothing else to press. Just kidding. Everyone just kind of dies. Are they gonna capture it? Okay, no, that's not happening. So, rotation. Spell priority list. Quick review. Sunfire. Moonfire. For the damage increase. Once you get the damage increase, you just want to use your artifact trait. Once you get your artifact trait, you bastard. Once you get your artifact trait going, <laughs> uh, same guy carrying the flag, whatever. He's probably just gonna die here. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Don't let him cap, he won't. He's already dead. Okay, so dots. Use your artifact trait just to generate astral power. Once you do get a decent amount of astral power, slash can use star surge, you want to use that. Um, well, okay, whatever. Is he still in there? Holy shit, Gore, man. Or you need to calm down. We'll use cooldowns here. We'll help you out. So, gonna use my one shot. Going to apply my full moon. Gonna see how hard I crit this guy in hand. He's dead. Two, two million. Okay, not even a flag carrier. And we will apply dots. Use our solar wrath and lunar strike. You can use lunar strike in uh, your incarnation form, by the way, because it actually does do a decent amount of damage. And the cast time is reduced a decent amount with your haste that you do get. And we'll go on the warrior here, apply dots, use star surge, use star surge again. And solar wrath, solar wrath, lunar strike. Use our artifact ability here because we have nothing else to use and he's probably dead here. We get a full moon off, he doesn't die from this full moon, he's, I don't know what he's doing. He's taking steroids or something, okay. We'll go on the healer here, apply dots, use star surge just to get that astral power slash empowered spells. And once we get our dots on the target, we can just spam Solar Wrath and Lunar Strike. Oh, that would have helped a little bit ago. My god. Come here. I, I, I need to see you guys. I need to see those pretty faces. The pretty alliance faces. I'm actually just going to run around because we're kind of just slaughtering them. So, yeah. I mean, Balustrade, it's very fun. Uh, don't forget about Barkskin. Barkskin reduces the damage you take by 20%, so never forget about that. Don't forget about your heals. You can regrowth in Boomkin form. Uh, you can healing touch not in Boomkin form, so that feels bad, but whatever. Um, we're going to run over here just so I can cast in their graveyard. Seems like we're kind of just spawn camping them at this point, so. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll kill that guy. I guess we'll play the objective, I suppose. I don't want them to cap. Just because I'd, I'd actually want to win. So, again, apply dots. Use our artifact trait just to generate some astral power. And he'll probably just die from the full moon, honestly. And we'll use solar wrath. Solar wrath. Solar wrath. 
iPad. Star Surge whenever you can. It's called voiceover pair. You don't have to do it live. Something new. Notice you. Something new. Notice you have been. You've been play by play all day. I have indeed. Yeah. I have indeed been doing play by plays all day. I can. Probably once I finish Druid, I'll uh, do threes or RBGs or something like that. But. And again, apply dots. Use. Use Star Surge to generate Astral Power. I'm actually going to root this guy because I don't want him to get away. Not today, brother. Okay. Going to Full Moon. Damn. Going to Full Moon. There you go, bud. 1.6 million. You're dead. Congrats. <laughs> Poor guy. Uh, he was so close to getting away from the graveyard. Ooh, just spit a little bit. Just a tiny bit. Wasn't, wasn't a gross amount. If it was a gross amount, I wouldn't have mentioned it. It was just a little sprinkle. A little sprinkle of spit. Nature locked. Damn you. Whatever. And Lunar Strike twice because I get that Lunar Strike proc. The only reason I use Lunar Strike there is because I did get interrupted. You should apply to Blizzard as a shoutcaster. Oh, they'd love how much I swear. They'd love it, man. 152 million damage. Gore going him with the 208 million. God. That was... That was a... That was a good game. So again... I didn't listen at all. Damn. Okay, I'm back. Wind knocked out the connection rip. Teach me again. So, I'll teach you. I'll teach you again. King Koopa, put your dots. Use Solar Wrath. When you have Astral Power, use Star Surge. And then use your Full Moons. That's all you really have to do. Um, by the way, I'll have a more in-depth guide on my YouTube channel as well, where I actually hit target dummies and kind of go more in-depth and explain a little bit better uh, as to what the rotation <laughs> for uh, Bound Shirt is. So, yeah. And the time is 3.20.